One particular rental company is in some hot water after several Knoxville residents say the company has failed to comply with federal regulations. Several people have called into our newsroom regarding this very case. WATE 600 Sides' Kristen Gallant spoke to one former tenant who says she now has to live out of a hotel after she says the company illegally evicted her. I lived um, in the House of Mechanicsville since um, the fall of 2015, um, and then we were fraudulently evicted um, in December of 2022. Brianna Holloway is a mother of five and has lived in Knoxville practically her entire life. Holloway is heavily involved with several community groups. I'm currently the city of Knoxville's uh, sixth district neighborhood advisory council representative. Um, I also do some volunteer work um, here with the Safe Haven, the Alliance House. I'm a member of the University of Tennessee's Black Alumni Council. Two years ago, while she was working to help others through these organizations, she found herself in a tough situation. I had fallen behind on my rent in the fall of 2021. That's how long this issue has been going on. Um, so we went to eviction court uh, that September. I had caught my rent up pretty much before we got to court. They agreed to let me stay in the home as long as I continue to pay my rent on time. She says as soon as that process was over, she went to the Knox Housing Assistance What's Board to apply for rent and utility assistance. The money for my rent, which was paid from December 21 through March of 2022, was direct deposited to Stevens Realty, uh, which was my landlord, on December 8th. The next day, December the 9th, Stevens Realty issued a, an eviction notice to me and filed a detainer warrant in Knox County um, Civil Court to evict me from the home. We did receive a statement from Knox County stating that they have, quote, been in contact with a tenant and the realty company and the company's attorney, and we hope the matter will be resolved soon. In the meantime, Holloway says she lives in a hotel and has to go back to court in the next 60 days to try to get the matters resolved. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. We have reached out to Stevens Realty Group for comment and we have not heard anything back at this time.